Hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So with this video, I am going to show you how to create one a simple and a smooth animation of a disappearing uh, top bar. So as you can see uh, in this example, uh, we have one uh, top bar and one uh, lazy column list. Now whenever I scroll through this list, uh, then the top bar will immediately animate and disappear. However, when I scroll back to the top of this list, uh, then that uh, top bar will get back. Okay, so there you go. That's how actually it works. We can scroll down below as much as we want and we are not going to uh, interfere with that uh, top bar. However, if we scroll all the way top in our list, only then we will be able to see this uh, top air bar again. Okay, uh, I have uh, already prepared the project, so uh, we are not going to code. Instead, uh, I will go through this uh, code that uh, I have already written and then I will explain uh, how it works and a couple of things that you should definitely be aware of because uh, otherwise you may experience uh, some issues. Now, uh, for this to work, we need to use the one uh, custom extension property uh, for a lazy list, which I've made a video for uh, last week. So with this extension property, we will be able to receive basically a boolean value or true whenever we scroll through our list and we are going to receive a false from this uh, extension property whenever we get back on top of our list. Okay, now let me just uh, start from the beginning. So here we have a main screen which we are of course uh, calling from our main activity and this uh, main screen contains uh, uh, this lazy list uh, state of course and the scaffold. Now this uh, scaffold contains only the content parameter and not the top bar uh, parameter. And why is that? Uh, well, because here as you can see this uh, content composable or this uh, content parameter, uh, we are uh, using this uh, box in which we are placing uh, two different composable functions, a main content and a top bar. Which means that uh, those elements actually stack on each other. So first we are placing our main content, which is this uh, lazy list, and then on top of that we are placing this uh, top bar. So let's first start with the top bar. As you can see here, it's just a simple top app bar uh, composable function which contains a couple of different modifiers, and inside it contains just a simple text, which says title, right? And uh, here is the catch. So uh, you need to be uh, very careful when uh, placing those uh, modifiers uh, in this composable function. And you need to follow the right order. So in this case, I'm using the animate content size modifier so that I can modify the actual height of this uh, top bar whenever this uh, value is scrolled changes, right? So here in this uh, height modifier, I have uh, added one logic. So if uh, our uh, list uh, is actually scrolled, then the height of our uh, top bar will be zero, which means that whenever we scroll through our list, then the height of this uh, top bar will be zero and it will not be visible. That's how we are actually animating this uh, content size. And uh, in else case, if this list is not scrolled, then the height of this uh, actual uh, top app bar uh, will be 56 dp. Okay, so the reason why I chose 56 dp is because I followed the official uh, material design documentation. As you can see here, uh, the default uh, dimension for the height of the top bar is uh, 56 dp. However, if you check the official documentation for Material 3, uh, then that size is a little bit different. So in that case, it's a 64. But nevertheless, I have chosen 56 in this case. Uh, okay, let me just scroll uh, all the way here again. All right. So uh, one thing that you should be aware of here is the actual order of those modifiers. So for example, if I place this uh, a modifier, let's say below uh, this uh, height modifier like that, let's see what kind of a result uh, we are going to get. Now in this case, as you can see, uh, that animation uh, will not work uh, in the way we expect, right? And the main reason for that is because uh, the actual order of those modifiers is not right. Also, if we try to place this modifier, for example, uh, all the way here on the top, uh, then it will not work uh, either. So let's check that out. As you can see, that animation actually does not work the way we expect. Also, if we place that uh, uh, right here be, uh, behind or actually above the background and below the fill max width, uh, that will also not work. As you can see, that animation will just disappear. So uh, you need to be very careful and you need to place this animate content size above the height uh, modifier and below those two. So that's the right position and the only position that will work in this case. Okay, as you can see now it actually works. There you go. 
Okay, uh, now let's uh, continue to our uh, main content composable function. So this composable function contains just a simple uh, lazy column to which we are just uh, passing all those uh, 25 different items or numbers. There you go. Uh, one more important thing here to note is that we are using uh, uh, animated DP as a state to actually animate the padding value of our lazy column. Because uh, by default, whenever we place uh, those two components like this uh, main content and the top bar inside the box, uh, then those elements will be stacked on each other, right? And we need to figure out the way to actually uh, specify the padding to our lazy column. And why is that? Well, because uh, as you can see, whenever uh, our actual top bar disappears, in that case, the actual padding of our lazy column should be zero. Otherwise, when our uh, top bar is actually visible, in that case, the padding should be the exact uh, same size of that uh, same top bar, like you can see right here. So whenever our uh, list uh, is not uh, scrolled, uh, then we should add the padding to our lazy column so that uh, our actual content of this list don't uh, overlap with the top bar. And as you can see at this point, now everything works uh, perfectly fine. So uh, this was just a basic and a simple example, but uh, with this uh, logic, you can of course create uh, some more complex uh, and uh, even better animations and designs. So uh, be sure to use your own imagination and create even better examples than this one. Alright, so uh, be sure to comment down below and uh, like this video if you find it uh, helpful, of course. And uh, see you in the next one.